Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Better Channel, which is the build 22631.2191. This build from the Better Channel has a few interesting new features and also improvements and quite a list of fixes. I think uh, it's a pretty interesting one, so stay tuned because in this video we're going to try to cover them all. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all in this build Microsoft is releasing more HDR background support in the beta channel and you can now set JXR files to be your desktop background and if you have an HDR display they will render in full HDR. If you want to see a more in-depth guide on how to set up this of course you can check out the official blog post from Microsoft that will be linked down below in the article. Also in the beta channel we now have more narrator natural voices in French, Portuguese, English, from India, German and Korea. I think that is also pretty interesting and of course useful for a lot of people. Microsoft is also introducing Windows 365 also on the beta channel. Windows insiders in the dev and beta channels can participate in the public preview of Windows 365 switch. Windows 365 switch provides the ability to easily move between a Windows 365 cloud PC and the local desktop using the same familiar keyboard commands as well as a mouse click or a swipe gesture through task view on the Windows 11 taskbar. For more info you can check out the blog post from the Microsoft website that will be linked in the article below. Microsoft also stated that they temporarily removed the options for the never combined taskbar icons so normally those should be disabled for you but here on this machine I manually enable it so that's why it is still enabled for me but if you don't have it you can manually enable it or you can wait until Microsoft will bring the feature back in a future flight. Regarding the file explorer Microsoft added the share button to the context menu in addition to having the share icon at the top of the context menu. And they are also adding more fields to show the details pane including image dimensions for pictures, number of pages for docx, space used and free information for drives and many others. I think that is also pretty useful. Let's test that out for drivers as well. I'm gonna select a drive. You can see here we have type, space used, space free, total size, file system and bit locker status. Regarding Windows Spotlight, after doing an OS update, in certain cases such as using the default Windows 11 background or a solid color, Windows Spotlight may be enabled for you if you decide you don't want Windows Spotlight enabled, you can turn it off and in future OS updates, it should not be enabled for you again unless you choose to re-enable the experience. I think that is also pretty nice. So regarding new features and changes, this is all there is to it in this build, but now let's talk about a few fixes. We have a lot of fixes related to the File Explorer. Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing File Explorer to crash when navigating to home as well as some other issues causing crashes. They fixed a memory leak in the File Explorer with the latest updates which could cause Explorer.exe crashes and other issues issues over prolonged usage. They also fixed an issue where after refreshing home actions to pin and unpin favorite files might not work. They also fixed an issue where the tooltip will get stuck on the screen when you scroll home with touch. They fixed an issue where collapsing and expanding the sections of home didn't always work. They fixed an issue where home and gallery could get stuck in their own colors and they were open when changing between light and dark mode. They fixed an issue where thumbnails in gallery might not load after changing the view to a smaller icon size for example medium to small. Made some small adjustments to the size of elements including including reducing the size of text, the Alt plus D, Control plus L and F4 keyboard shortcuts should work now to set focus to the address bar. They fix an issue where typing drive letters at local app data and certain other things in the address bar wasn't causing a suggested path to appear in the drop down. They fix an issue where the icons displayed in the tabs in File Explorer could become out of sync with the current folder after navigating. They fix an issue which was causing File Explorer to show working on it in an empty folder. They fix an issue where the image in the details pane might get blurry after resizing the File Explorer window. Fiction issue where the design of the details pane was displaying from left to right instead of right to left when using Hebrew or Arabic display languages. The fiction issue where the text box for naming newly created files or folders on the desktop was showing in the wrong position, far away or too close relative to the thumbnail. Fiction issue where Alt plus P and Shift plus Alt plus P keyboard shortcuts weren't working when focus was set to one of the images in gallery. Fiction issue where right clicking items in the navigation pane weren't open a context menu after you change folders. Fiction issue which was causing explore.exe to crash when trying to to access an FTP address, fiction issue where selecting the drop down arrows in the address bar was opening a blank menu, and lastly, we also have a fix for dynamic lighting, a fiction issue where devices might show as empty squares in settings, personalization, and dynamic lighting. So basically, these are all the changes and improvements and also fixes. If you want to check out the full list of known issues in this build, you can check out the official blog post from Microsoft, which will be linked in the article below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't
won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.